Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. We got the dump trailer hooked up and ready to use for the first time. And another first thing we're going to be doing is staying down at the homestead. So we've got generator power there and uh, we have the power hooked up through the generator. So we got basically most things in the house are, are wired up and operational. No running water, uh, no stove and stuff like that. But we've got a barbecue on here. We've got a mattress on the back of the trailer, which we just purchased yesterday to sleep on tonight. But we are ready to go. So here it is, the 16 by seven Silver Mountain Trailers. 14k dump trailer no sides on it yet haven't got around to that yet we got the big gen y hitch hooked up of course we are ready to go so the only time i've even towed this trailer was when i picked it up from the place that i bought it so this would be the first time really just hauling down the road obviously there's no weight in it it's just empty but we've got the tarp hooked up there's the mattress i really like this tarp system with the locking hooks on the end I really like that compared to the big techs that I have that uh, just uses, you know, straps and you strap it down. But we are ready to rock and roll. So we're gonna be cleaning out more of the barn, getting a better idea of what is really going on in there so we can figure out where we wanna put things. I got the dogs in the back. We got the truck loaded full of stuff. The box is full. It's like we're going camping for the weekend, which basically we are. But let's go. Holy, 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 it's hot. Man, this barn, you do a lot of work to and it never seems like anything gets done. But this is a mess, but it's actually a lot cleaner. Up here, stuff's gone. Back there, stuff's gone. Over here, nothing touched. Now I'm up here. We'll take a look at the load we got on the trailer. First load it's hauling and all it's doing is hauling down across the field. But she is a load, so that is all just old lumber that we're never gonna use cut pieces and stuff so we're gonna take it down the field dump it and do what all homesteaders do have a fire when it's nice and damp in the fall okay welcome back welcome back it is two days after i started this video it's very quiet here right now it was not quiet here yesterday i'll get into that in a second so I've actually gone home. I went home last night. We stayed one night here. We had the generator going for power in the house. Thank God, because it was so hot and we had uh, we had a fan going at least. Uh, so yeah, we went home last night and I'm back here today. My wife's home with power. Wendell is hiding from the sun right now because again, it's another hot day. But a lot happened here yesterday, a lot. We're gonna hook up to the trailer here in a little bit and haul some more brush and I'll show you guys, uh, you know, that because I didn't get it to film anything about the trailer yet. But so yesterday we had, I had uh, my father here and a buddy of mine here and we, uh, well they, I didn't cut anything. I was in the machine. I felt bad for them because it was so hot. But we cut a row of scotch pine out right here. Still need to cut these scotch pine down, but they're sort of tangled in the power lines, so I need to get my pole saw and take some limbs off before I drop those. But the main thing that happened was I had my inspection yesterday. It passed. So I now have power. So we did put new, new wires right from the meter base up to the weather head. They were starting to crack a little bit. So we got those uh, swapped out, disconnected in the morning. The inspector came, did his inspection. Everything looked great. Hooked the power up and I now have power in the house. But I still do not have water. I was thinking maybe it was a generator problem or something, but I still do not have water. Now remember, these, this wire is coming out of the ground. My pressure tank and everything is right here. You can see where it goes through the wall. And this is going right in that direction and this is a well line that is what a well line looks like once you take the casing off it so my neighbor was here and uh apparently you know years ago they used to bury the uh the wells even the drilled wells they used to bury them so uh, i had no idea where the well was he called the brother of the guy who used to live here and he said it was out front by the oak tree somewhere and 
sure enough, there was a black uh, little pipe coming out of the ground, small like half inch pipe. And the old wells used to have a vent, a vent hose on them because they're buried. He said, I think that's where your well is. So I got the machine out and I started digging down and sure enough, I found the well. So there is the well right there. Here's the old lines going to the old homestead. That was the original homestead. And there's the line going and feeding this house. But the wires are, are ripped here and they're ripped up there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna expose, dig down that, that side of the foundation and see if those are the wires. And obviously if those are the wires, then I'm going to have to run a new electrical line to this well. But at least I don't need to drill another well. As long as the water tests fine, I don't need to drill another well. So they flattened a lot of trees here yesterday. Some big spruce, some big pine, and there's really nothing good out of them. They just have a whole crap load of tops, basically. They come up a little bit and then all whole, like a bunch of tops. I got quite a pile of brush started down there right now. And I think the reason why they grew like that, like you can see those still have to come down, is, you know, years ago when they used to mow these fields, like years and years and years ago, they would have kept just going over top, going over top, going over top, cutting them off, and then they just grew up with a whole crap load of tops. So they're terrible to work with, and they're really worthless. There's not any logs, like hardly in it whatsoever. But I got a few of the scotch pine, but that is what happened in the last couple days. It was a very busy day yesterday. So I'm gonna get in the machine. I'm gonna start exposing that corner of the foundation. And then I'm gonna come over and dig around the corners of the foundation's barn to see how far the footing goes down and then figure out, you know, what I need to do to shore the barn up. I got uh, one big load of just wood out of there, dumped down in the field. And then I took one load of just everything to the landfill. And the trailer towed great. Trailer's been working great. The, uh, the, capacitor, the, the capacitor system that's in it works really good. It's really fast, it's powerful. It tips up like almost straight up in the air. So it dumps out very, very easy. Okay, so change of plans. Still gonna do all that stuff, but first I'm getting rid of the old doorstep and stuff that was laying here and an old TV and row machine and vacuum and whatnot. I got a load loaded up going to the landfill. So it's mostly wood and then some electronics and stuff. Definitely still building the sides on this thing and man, we'll never be able to haul a lot of brush and stuff then. So over here, my suspicions were confirmed. I dug down exposed where the well line and electrical come out sure enough it was this cable that was coiled up on the ground and cut so yes i need to dig a trench from here underneath the step all the way out front to where the well is and install a new electrical line but i know where the well is so we're off to a decent start at least at least we know that i've got the gear to do it so probably do that maybe sometime maybe sometime this week because I'd love to have running water here for when we come down we can at least wash our hands use the use the toilet have a shower you know whatever but it's gonna be a pretty good trench all the way from back there all the way out front that's a long run so hopefully that that pump in the well is a, a good strong powerful pump because that's a long long haul
Ho, 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 ho. It is warm. It is warm. One, two, three trees right there. One tree right there cleaned up. Massive pile of brush. Another pile here yet to go. And hey, look, you can just start to see the sun. I mean, the lake through the trees down there. Eventually, our goal or our plan right now, you know, there's the house up there, the barn there. We eventually plan on building another house down here somewhere, like years from now, facing towards the lake. So, with these big pine trees gone, you can actually start to see down through. I'm getting a little bit of a breeze coming up through there. We are definitely going to thin this section out to allow more breeze and to allow more view of the lake. But man, you know, obviously that looks so much better. I'll have to come back and rip those stumps out with my, my A ton. It'd be quite a job for the four ton. But I've got trees here, trees here, trees there, trees there, trees there. And then yet these two, three or four pine trees yet to come down. Got a lot to clean up. It takes so much time. Like there are so many limbs, so many limbs. So what I did, you could see from the drone footage is I was just tracking back and forth uh, for a lot of it. But then once it gets down to the falling stuff, it's just easier to park the trailer and do it that way. But I'm just about getting ready to get out of here. I need to go up, drop this trailer, hook up to the equipment trailer, load the mulcher on the trailer, load the machine on the trailer, and get out of here without suffering from heat stroke. But maybe, just maybe, I might go down in there for a second. Okay, so I did get the corners of the foundation exposed. And uh, it's not really good news, but it's what I expected. Just a small little bit of concrete poured on top of a rock foundation. So we're gonna have to do something about that. So I'm gonna get, uh, Get a foundation guy in, take a look and see what he recommends. You know, the cheapest, best way to do this, either the outside of this or the inside of this, there's gotta be something done to help sure this up. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. Truck's doing a burn off right now. That's one thing about the 2020s I noticed, they do go through a heck of a lot more depth than what my 19 and my 17 did. But anyway, folks, that is it. I had to go for a quick little dip. Like honestly, a minute and a half. The dogs have been inside the truck for quite a bit of the day because it's just too hot in the house, too hot outside. Let them go for a little roam and then go for a little drink. My one dog doesn't swim at all, my male. Wendell, he doesn't swim. Tony will swim a little bit, but I needed it too. But anyway, that's it for this one. Until next time, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you then. Bye.